What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new mini series Eric. Let's rock this. Wow. This show is outstanding and it's one of the best crime thrillers I've seen all year. Eric is haunting, it's raw, it's deeply powerful. Not to mention the 80s look and feel, the production designs are so palpable. It's almost as if you could touch and smell the whole city. Even the grainy cinematography kind of makes it seem as if this show was made in the 1980s and only just now found its way onto your TV screen. I mean, this is just a superbly, incredibly crafted show. And both Benedict Cumberbatch and Gabby Hoffman deliver their most excellent, most monumental performances with this one. Such an emotionally devastating embodiment of two messed up parents stricken with grief over the disappearance of their child. Their co-star McKinley Belcher III is also equally phenomenal as the NYPD detective who takes his cases to heart. I mean, Eric is a towering achievement. Set in 1980s New York, Eric is a new emotional thriller from Abby Morgan following the desperate search of a father when his nine-year-old son disappears one morning on the way to school. Vincent, one of New York's leading puppeteers and creator of the hugely popular children's television show, Good Day Sunshine, struggles to cope with the loss of his son, Edgar, becoming increasingly distressed and volatile. Full of self-loathing and guilt around Edgar's disappearance, he clings to his son's drawings of a blue monster puppet, Eric, convinced that if he can get Eric on TV, then Edgar will come home. As Vincent's progressively destructive behavior alienates his family, his work colleagues, and the detectives trying to help him, it's Eric a delusion of necessity who becomes his only ally in the pursuit to bring his son home. Hey, please click the join button below to become Rama Screen members. By doing so, you will help support this channel and you'll also get lots of perks. So click on the link below to join Rama Screen membership today. Now, this part is not a spoiler because it's in the trailers. Basically, Benedict Cumberbatch's character, Vincent, spends his days chatting with a big giant imaginary furry monster named Eric. And even though there's a lot of Jim Henson influence all over the story, this show is very much adult-centric with colorful language and a sexual violence content that can make you curl up in the corner bawling. Benedict voicing Eric is also probably the least surprising thing since Benedict has a very distinctive booming voice that can occasionally go raspy, and Benedict brilliantly captures Vincent's sheer madness. Vincent and Eric are a spot-on illustration of wrestling with your own demon or being your own worst enemy. Their journey is immensely gripping and at times therapeutic, in a shouting match kind of a way. The psychological depth that this show explores has layers upon layers, from victim blaming, to fighting a corrupt system, to rude awakenings and introspections. And because it's set in the 1980s, a time when the AIDS epidemic ravaged the nation on top of the racial injustice component. And so all of those provide a cocktail of social commentary that's embedded in how these three key characters affect one another. Writer-creator Abby Morgan did a terrific job at making all of those elements come together in a way that's compelling and character-driven. There's no criticism, per se, that I can think of, other than perhaps, well, without spilling spoilers, let's just say that I highly doubt that CCTV camera videos in the 1980s were top-notch quality, let alone them being able to capture the necessary angles needed to solve a crime. But other than that, this is one of those shows in which the mystery just grabs you from the start and doesn't let go. You will never stop wanting to know what has happened to Vincent's son. 
The whole thing is like a page turner or a great new book that you can't put down. The main question of who's actually the real monster is incredibly profound in a thousand different ways. So yeah, overall I give Eric the rating of 4.5 out of 5. Every once in a while you come across a show like this that's simply astonishing in terms of the production and the technical qualities, on top of everything else that's already so damn good about it. Eric is exceptional.